Hello again, everybody. Zeke Tech is here with the attack line for Tuesday, March 20th, 2012. Let's kick off with a big tour. I announced this on Mon uh, yesterday's attack line. Motley Crue and Kiss. They were announcing a tour today, and the tour dates are announced. The tour, as they call it, the tour 2012, the big tour, will start in uh, July. And yes, they will be in everyone's favorite city when they have to, because Kiss named a song after it. Detroit! Rock City! It'll be Wednesday, September 5th at DT. Tickets go on sale this Saturday in select cities, including Detroit. Um, start at 35 for uh, Lawn, 50 Pavilion, but for a limited amount of time, like the first weekend, $16 Lawn seats. Get it? Christine, 16, one of my personal favorite Kiss songs. I get wait to be able to go. Um, four years in the world, Kiss has been screwing me with bad days and bad places. But this year, Kiss got it right. Good price, a good day, good venue buying up. And it's going to be an amazing show. Kiss and Motley, of course, Kiss promoting new album, Monster. It's going to be a badass tour, two of the hottest bands in the world. Touring it is going to be an amazing summer tour. It's going to be just kick ass. Motley Kiss, baby. Woohoo! I know, baby. Now, on with news on another concert alumni like Kiss and Motley. Um, Madonna. Madonna today, or yesterday, she announced her only major publicity course, a new album, MDNA, comes out in six days on March 26th. Now, the only major promotion she's doing is doing a special Facebook chat this Saturday when Motley and Kiss tickets go on sale. This Saturday, Madonna will be doing a Facebook chat with Jimmy Fallon. Yes. Jimmy Fallon will be conducting a Facebook interview with Madonna. Her only major promotion for MDNA should be a great chat. I'm going to see Angel Dice Clay that day, so it's going to be a big day. Molly Ticket Day, Dice Clay Day. And Madonna Facebook Day with Jimmy Fallon should be a great day on Saturday for me. So there you go. Madonna Facebook, Jimmy Fallon. I think it starts around 6 o'clock. You can ask, ask all your questions. Of course, we all know she's touring November 8th at the Joe. Now, Paul McCartney's another concert alumni. Of course, his famous group, The Beatles. Today, they announced, well, a few months ago, they released a free iTunes book based on the movie Yellow Submarine. Well, they released, I think they released Holiday's Night in Blu-ray and DVD, Help's Been in DVD and Blu-ray, and now Yellow Submarine will make its DVD return, but for the first time it will be on Blu-ray, it will be coming out in May, I think May 29th, yeah, yeah, May 29th in America, come out DVD and Blu-ray, a brand new remaster of the classic 1968 animated film, and I've seen that movie. No, the original 1999 DVD when it came out on DVD for the first time. Cheesy, can't be, but fun movie. Happy to see it back on DVD, and it's on Blu-ray for the first time. Should look amazing. All we need now is to see Let It Be in DVD and Blu-ray. That's like the last major beta movie that we need to see in DVD form. Let It Be. Don't reissue Magical Mystery. Who cares? <laughs> so there you go. Beatles, Yellow Submarine. Well, uh, I just got done eating dinner. Had a great old barbecue. It's been beautiful here. A lot of hot days here in Michigan, like 60 to 80 degrees here. Spring is here. Spring is finally here. And it's all coming through Michigan here. So I ate outside. I ate a little bit. But outdoor barbecue. Awesome this type of day. But what's not cool is not barbecue. It's not to go out to eat on this day. But eating out is what everyone does. And as everyone knows, the biggest, best, fast food company is one and only Golden Arches, McDonald's. But there's a new number two in town. Usually number two has been BK. But BK has been overruled. That's why the number two fast food company, Wendy's. <laughs> That's weird that Wendy's is now like the second biggest company. What? Wendy? Second biggest fast food company, beating BK. How can that happen? But hey, I like Wendy's. You know they're good food. Uh, congrats to them. Be number two now instead of number three. That's what Buggy King is. Now, on with um, 
So Mark and Roller famous, of course. Um, Kiss should be in there. The Beatles are in Sorry's Madonna today. They announced the presenters for most of the inductees in this year's class of 2012. Now, we do not know who's going to duck Guns N' Roses. They haven't announced who's going to duck them yet. But inducting others have been announced, including Chris Rock will be inducting Without Chili Peppers. Chuck D from one of my favorite rap groups, Public Enemy, will be inducting the Beastie Boys. Stevie Van Zandt from Bruce Springsteen's East Street Band, fellow Hall of Famer, will be inducting the little face, the small faces slash the faces. Ben Mendel will induct Lord Nywell. Donovan will be inducted by John Mellencamp. But, like I said, we don't know who's going to be inducting Guns N' Roses yet. It will be May 5th. The induction ceremony will air on May 5th on HBO. The induction itself, April 15th. Now, on with Dancing with the Stars review from last night. The season premiere, season 14. I thought it was amazing. There was a lot of, a lot of great... Great potential. Some are saying it's the best opening ever from what I saw. Besides channel stuffing between it and wall. I saw some great, great potential. Great great opener. It's gonna be a great it's gonna be a great season. You can tell there's no controversy, there's no bullshit in this. And I'm happy there's no like can Nancy Grace people make conservative people vote. Um My favorite song from what I've seen, Catherine Jenkins, Mark Ballas, they're awesome. Uh, Julia White and Kim Johnson, I like them. Saw him in his clip. Uh, William Levy, I thought he was stiff at first, but he's got that Latino favor, so he can hear the girls swoon. He's going to be on for a while, so who knows what happened with him. I hope he gets better. He got potential. Glass Knight saw a little bit of home dance. He's okay. Uh, Jack, Jack uh, Wagner. Ian and Anna, I like this dance. Uh, the only ones I wasn't big fans of were Sherry, uh, Sherry Shepard from uh, The View, who danced at Sherry Baby. What's next? Oh, Sherry by Steve Miller, by uh, Steve Perry. <laughs> it was okay. I didn't like it that much. It was okay. It was kind of fun. Let's see how much that stick will last. Uh, well, Sean Fergan from the Disney show. I liked him. I liked his hip hop flavor. I knew Len was going to bitch about it, but he's got a lot of potential from him. <laughs> Got some great potential to be a great dancer. So far the same. I love to see his freestyle, but I don't, maybe he'll make it that far, but I can't really say. Um, Maria Menounos. Um, like term. She's got a lot of work to do. She's got potential. Donald Driver. He's got a lot of potential. Football guys have done very, I've mentioned. The only ones I didn't like that much, well, Gavin the didn't like him that much. Melissa Gilbert was okay, and Martina never to roll about. And Kevin Jenkins and Julia White with the highest scores, 26. There is no results show tonight. So that means I get one more week of dancing before we get elimination next Tuesday. So we'll see what happens next Monday at 8 on Dance from the Stall and see who will improve, who will be better, and who will fail on Dancing next week. Now that's it for today's attack line. I will see you all later. Then my develop an attack for the news from Zach. Thank you very much. See you all later. Yeah.